Hi, it's Sam. In this video, we'll be looking at the plotting systems in R. So there are three basic plotting systems, basic R plotting system, the lattice plotting system, and the ggplot plotting system. So we have an overview of it for today. Okay, let's open the R Studio. As you can see, that we'll be looking at the plotting systems, selection 4. Okay, so this section requires this package. Would you like to install it? Yes, let's install this package. Okay, pack package. Okay, load it successfully. Good. We have a brief overview of the three plotting system in R. First, differences and strengths. Okay, the first one is a base plotting. We have seen a few of the functions like the plot, which is scatter plot, histogram, box plot. Right? These are a few of the um, basic uh, functions from the basic uh, package. Okay, what are some of the disadvantages of the base plotting system we have been using? You can't go back once a plot has started, and it seems right. It mirrors how we think building plots and analysis data yes seems okay it's intuitive and uh, exploratory uh, it's not very intuitive of the base ones a complicated plot is a series of simple R commands well yeah it's a disadvantage so disadvantage oh, let's see what Okay, we can't really go back. Yes, uh, base system is quite intuitive and easy to use. It says you can't go backwards. Once the project are created, you can't do undo, erase. Uh, while in Lattice and the ggplot, you can uh, build a uh, plot layer by layer. So we'll cover it later. So we load the data set cars. Let's see how we plot it. So, let's have a look at the cards. Okay, speed distance. Now, the speed and the stopping distance were seen before. Two arguments. Let's see. Okay, the command we use is with cards plot speed distance. Yeah, speed distance. Simple right x and y. So use the with cards, then we don't need to specify the cars dollar speed and the cars dollar distance. So this is the usage of it. And this is the plot. Yeah, the speed and the distance. It's yeah, quite easy for R is pretty smart to guess which uh, variable to use for x and y. Okay. okay, this is adding a a a a, a, a title there, a title there, text. It's adding it title there. Mean max. Okay. Now move on to the second plotting system, the lattice system. So here we'll do a brief discussion on lattice system. Unlike the base one, lattice plots are created with a single function call, such as x, y plot, or beta plot. Margins and space are set automatically. Where the entire plot is specified as once. That one. Conditional types of plot. How y change with x across the level of z? So a few uh, conditions can be plotted. Few entry of the state. Okay, 
Albanian population income literacy illiteracy uh, those people who can't read and write uh, can't write okay how many states are in each state region table see the contingency table so here is to count by region count by region so we have one two three four four regions and for four these regions how many countries are there how many states are there okay four categories 50 states are uh, sorted into different buckets buckets we want to see use xy plot how life expect expectancy varies with income so with the income change high or low then what is the life expectancy for the different states or different regions with three arguments so let's see how to do it give a x y plot three arguments the first one x y plot the first one is uh, the most complete is our formula life expectancy to income and reach Average, which indicates we are plotting life expectancy as it depends on income for each region now, break by region. So this is the uh, uh, syntax now, grammar, language grammar of the lattice you know, uh, plotting system. The second argument data is equal to uh, data equal to Data equal to the states. The state. The state. This allows us to use the life dot expectancy, which is the column name, as you can see here. Life expectancy, which is column name, income in the region. And the third one. Uh, the third one. The third argument layout is set equal to two long vectors. Right. Layout. Layout. Zoom it to have a look. Okay, we now see four, one, two, three, four, yeah, four regions, four regions plotted, and this is the income for the region northeast, the income range for the south is here, the income range for the north is three thousand to six thousand here, and then the west is here. And what's their life expectancy? And the number of dots, say northeast, how many dots do we have? Four, six, eight, nine. So northwest should have nine. So this is the northwest, you have nine uh, states. So you also have nine dots here. So we see the data from the four regions. Sorry. Let's go back here. We see the data for the each of the four region plot. Based on this plot, which region of the US seems to have the shortest life expectancy? Shortest life expectancy, we have a look at those lower ones. So this is from 68 to 73 years old. So it seems the southern uh, states has an average lower life expectancy. So the south. Just for fun, return the x one this time with the layout vector 222. Two, two. Okay, 22. Two, two. Okay, so they uh, change the layout. Instead of four columns, uh, one row, they change to two, two, two uh, four columns, one row. Plot, okay, which is a hybrid of the base and the lattice. It automatically deals with the space, text, uh, titles, 
as Lattice do basically automatically provide those optional parameters for you. But it also allows you to annotate by adding to a plot, which is called layer by layer. First, we pick up a, a scatter plot, then after that, we add a layer, which is called a title, subtitle. Then we'll add one more layer, the X uh, labels for the X axis, the Y labels. But they do layer by layer or change the color. So ggplot is one of the most advanced and uh, intuitive plotting package in R. In the next few sessions, then we will uh, examine the ggplot in detail. But here is the overview of the three, three uh, plotting systems. ggplot is simple single. It will load a data set for you. This is the MPG data set, uh, miles per gallon fuel usage. Mm. Okay, so a few different uh, different cars. There's models, there's uh, years of production, there's cylinders, how many cylinders they have. Dimension. <clears throat> Okay, there's 234 cars with 11 uh, columns. Okay, 38 models of car. You run the table with the argument the model. Let's see how many models do we have? The models A4, 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 A4. Okay, these are the measurements across different years. <coughs> different models. Okay, so these are the different models. There are the forerunner, and A4, A4, and so on. So there are different uh, models, different models. Uh, must talk the Ford car. 38 models where interesting the effect engine displacement has on the highway gas mile H, H, Y, H, W, Y. So we'll use the ggplot, qplot. qplot is one of the uh, quick plot in ggplot to display this relationship. Run qplot now with three arguments. qplot with three arguments. What are the three? What are the three? The first two are the variable. Engine displacement and highway gas mileage. And the third one, the argument data set equal to MPG. So we only specify these three uh, arguments, uh, which is the, uh, the minimum one that we need to provide. And the rest of the optional arguments, uh, Qplot will automatically provide for us. So this is a displacement, and this is the highway mileage. And with more and more increase, in the, with the increase of the displacement, the w y uh, w uh, the y w h y w y goes down. So somehow there is a linear trend. Okay. Okay, it's already end. The bigger the engine displacement, the lower the gas mileage. Yeah. That's a trend. That's a trend. Okay. <clears throat> so, which R plot system is based on the artist uh, plenty? So, this is the base one. Yeah. The base one. Which R plotting system does not allow you to annotate plots with separate cores? Uh, that's the lattice system. That this system does not allow you to do that separate call. Say the base ones, we can, after plotting the, uh, the figure, we can use the AB line, add a line to the box plot or to the histogram in the base system. So it allows to uh, annotate the plot or uh, modify the plot uh, with separate calls, while well, that does not allow. Uh, 
which has to combine the best feature of the other two. So ggplot, ggplot is basically a combination of uh, base and analytic system. So use a graphic of grammar. So ggplot uh, is actually stands for graphics of grammar plot. So these are the two G stands for. So this is G. Force you to make the entire plot with one code. No, that's less. That is. Let this one, which are following sales high quality artist brush for sale. Yeah, is uh, so high quality and uh, brushes. Now, that's <laughs> that's number two in Saint Newton. That is actually a company, and has nothing to do with the plotting system. Okay, so that's the end of this lesson. That's the end of lesson. So, base plotting system we have uh, used quite extensively in the previous sessions. And then in the following sessions, we will be when we are looking at plotting, we will be focusing more on uh, ggplot2. Okay, so yeah, that's the end of this session. Thanks for following me. And in the next one, we'll be looking at uh, a base plotting system or working uh, or ggplot3. Okay, see you soon.